What's going on, his squad? It's your main man, Hitman, and I am back once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for the family heirlooms, all luxury, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Saturday, June 26, and as I say, each and every video, smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way. And if you're watching, just browsing, just checking out the channel, just checking out the cycles, just checking out me in general, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get each and every video I put out when I put it out each and every day. If you guys want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at HitmanMiyagiYT. How to spell that will be in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. It'll be in the description box below and there's a hashtag below the video. So it's everywhere. <laughs> this is the name of the channel as well. Anywho, follow me there on Instagram and Twitter and I will update you guys on Madame Lazar's location and any other updates with the channel because I mean that's kind of what I can put there. <laughs> I also put the link to the video on Twitter so that's that. Anywho, uh, the first thing I want to get to is the first thing, as always, which is Madame Nazar's location. Today, Madame Nazar is right by the inn in New Hanover, right here. I want to I wanna say this, but I don't want to butcher the name. Caliban seat <clears throat> right here near the burned town or the ruined town. I don't know what they call it. The, the, the town that was uh, burned up. I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, Madame Nazar is right here, right outside of Valentine. At this location along the Dakota River. She will be here until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone, for those of you who don't know, or not of America. How I personally get to her when she's at this location is I simply fast travel to the post office in valentine it should put you around here somewhere when you spawn here just take the train down to the future series and follow this path down to the, the dakota river she will be here as i said until 2 a.m that's eastern standard time new york time zone east coast time zone for those of you who don't know or not of america and i will try my best to update you guys but I, I fall asleep like right before it's time for her to change. I be I, I try so hard to stretch my time, but like I'm just getting old, and I cannot make it until 2 a.m. <laughs> um, but yeah, she will be here here until there. The cycles are available from between 8 p.m. and 8 p.m. So 8 p.m. today until 8 p.m. tomorrow, 24 hours. Um, let's get to the next thing, which is the Caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle. There's a couple things up here as well. This is Coulter. Fast travel to Coulter, and that's where your Caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle is. Right here at this location inside this house, you guys will get your antique alcohol bottle, which is the Caribbean rum. As soon as you walk into the door and to the left, that's where it is. There's also a tarot card here inside the barn, the back of the barn, I guess, and on a bale of hay or a hay bale. And there's also a fossil right here at this location. If you guys want to go get that, make sure you pay attention to the fainted lines on the map because that would help you get the location of where exactly where it is. Uh, let's go back down here to where we normally do business which is the Lemoyne area of the map. So I can tell you the cycles. The cycles for today, Saturday, June 26th, are Family Heirloom Cycle 3, All Auxiliary Cycle 3, Coin Cycle 1, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 1, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 1, All Tarot Card Cycle 1, Bird Egg Cycle 2, and Fossils Cycle 3. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be written out for you guys down there um, along with the cycles of 
links to a video for the current cycle of fossils and how to spell the Twitter and Instagram for the channel. Let's get to these things that we will find across the Lemoyne area of the map. Let's start with the one, the highest, the most high. How about that? Right here at our first marker, you guys will get a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a dig spot. You do not need your metal detector. You just need your shovel. Come over here in this area. Hit your eagle eye and you will get a metal hairpin. This metal hairpin, once again, is a family heirloom. Right there at that location, right outside the burned house, ruined house. Right about here, you guys will get a fossil. This fossil is randomized. I cannot tell you what it is, but come over here with your metal detector. And that's what you will get. Uh, uh, the hints, torches. Look for trees or tree stumps over here in this area. In the little mud right here. Uh, inside this house, there's another family heirloom. This family heirloom is a tortoiseshell comb. This tortoiseshell comb is in the house on the wash table. The wash table is located on the far side of the dinner table. Like on the other side of the dinner table. Along that wall. Uh, there's a couple things over here. Like uh, there's a couple tarot cards. There's a tarot card here. I think that is on a gravestone. That's a seven of wands. There's a lost jury right here. On the ground. Next to a barrel. In the crack of this building. There's a... Kalumet turquoise earring. It's below the window. Or whatever. Underneath the house. Next to a barrel. Uh, also, there's a tarot card on this boat. On the back of this boat. <clears throat> on a barrel, there's a Queen of Wands tarot card. Let's go over here a little bit more. At our next marker. Which is a coin. A random coin. I'm not going to tell you guys what coin you would dig up. But come over to this location with your metal detector, and that's what you will get, a random coin. Let's go down to our next marker, which is a antique alcohol bottle. This antique alcohol bottle is a scotch whiskey bottle. This scotch whiskey bottle is on the table to the right as soon as you walk into the shack. Right on the table with all of the candles and stuff. I don't know how the candles never go out, but it's a thing. Uh, let's go back over here to the right a little bit to our next marker. Right here at this location, you guys will get a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a ebony hairpin. It's on a three-seater bench or chair, or a bench-looking chair. Right on, right at this location, right inside the house, along the wall right here. Uh, let's go down to our next marker, which is a tarot card. This tarot card is on a white table, or there's a white table, there's a chessboard on the white table, and on that chessboard, you guys will see a Eight of Swords tarot card. Go right here at this location, or to this location, and that's what you will get. Uh, let's go over to our next marker, which if you're used to this spot by now this is a iris whiskey bottle as i mean a antique alcohol bottle as well and as i said this is an iris whiskey bottle how you get to this bottle which is on the second floor of this little complex here go up the ladder right here if you guys can see that there's a ladder there go up the ladder go to about here and jump over the railing boom you should be still on the second level. Follow that path up to here where the next railing is. And follow this path down and around to the antique alcohol bottle which is sitting at the crack of a door. Right here at this location. Once again, this Irish, this antique alcohol bottle is an Irish whiskey bottle. So go and grab that. I have a couple more things for you guys. Right here at this location, you guys will get... A random lost jury right here at this location come over here with your metal detector and you will get a random lost jury I cannot tell you what lost jury you will get but come right here in this pile of trash because this is the uh, landfill area of the little map or of this city or I think it's the only landfill that I've seen 
But come right here, there's a, like a broken wagon, a couple back broken wagon wheels and stuff like that. But come over to this location with your metal detector and that's what you will get a random lost jury. Right down to our next marker. If you guys see that right here at this location, you will get a random fossil. I cannot tell you what fossil you will get, but come to this location with your metal detector and that's what you will dig up, a random fossil. Let's go across the water, which you don't really necessarily have to go across the water. You can go around, you know, on the land, which may be the easier way. But right here at this location, you guys will get a bird egg. This bird egg is a spoonbill egg. And it's in a tree, so shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. I, I usually use the varmint rifle, but I say both of them because it's a possibility. Let's go down to our next item or next marker. Right here at this location, you guys will get a cardinal flower. This is the cardinal flower that spawns over here each and every day that helps over in this area each and every day that helps me personally indicate exactly what cycle the flowers are on, which today is cycle one. If, before I go any further, if you guys notice any mistakes or anything let me know the, at the exact moment that you find out that there's a mistake so I can possibly change it in the description or post it on social media or something like that because it'll help me out and it'll help the community that we're growing that we're building out uh, there's a couple things over here inside the this little area there's a tarot card over here inside this barn up the ladder and on some wooden crates is a four of swords right here at this location and on this uh, porch this back porch or uh, deck which I, I feel like is a porch but right here at this location you guys will get a new guinea rose with hairbrush that's on the back porch on the table let's go over to the Braithwaite Manor home, which there's two things, or three things actually. There's a tarot card, there's a antique alcohol bottle, and there's a um, family heirloom. The tarot card is a Ace of Wands, is on top of the piano in the corner room, in the corner of the room inside the house on the ground floor. If you guys cannot get that, I'm sorry. On top of the piano, in the corner of the room, inside the house, on the ground floor. So, it's about here on the map. If you mark your marker here, that's where it'll be. Also, I think in the same... No, that's this is upstairs, about here, on the second floor, in the room with the chest at the foot of the bed... You guys will get a cherry wood cone, which is a family heirloom. And on the ground floor, on the dinner table, you guys will get a London dry gin and tea alcohol bottle. Let's go up to Rose where I have a couple things for you guys. Uh, one thing inside, inside the actual E of Rose, there's a tree, a dead tree sticking out of the ground. And right around the base of that tree, you guys will get a random coin right here at this location there's a couple tree dead trees on the ground but the one that you're looking for is the one that's sticking out of the ground up and out of the ground uh let's go over here to our next item which is a card this card is on a table on the second floor walk up the stair there's just like a spiral staircase walk up the spiral staircase and on the table, you guys will get a King of Cups tarot card. There are also two more tarot cards, which one is right here at this house. This is is on a bench on like the porch of this house. Porch or deck or patio or whatever you want to call it. There's a two of wands right here at this location. And right over here, across from the fence, at this location, you guys will get another tarot card which is a ten of cups this ten of cups is right on the table beside a bucket of water 
I have about three more things and then that's pretty much it. Right here at this location, you guys will get a random lost jury. This random lost jury is beside a log. So when you do come over here, look for the log and then pull out your metal detector. Um, before we get to this last marker, uh, there's a ebony hairbrush, which is a family heirloom, inside the house in the tall wardrobe. As soon as you walk through the door, which is right here, there is a tall wardrobe directly in front of you right here at this location. And when you do go inside, go to the wardrobe, open it up, and you will get a ebony hairbrush once again. Right here at this location, or at the location, at the location of our next uh, marker you guys will get a random arrowhead I cannot tell you guys what arrowhead you will get but right here beside the tree stump next to the pond you will get a random arrowhead I cannot tell you which one it is as I just said but come over here you do not need your metal detector I don't know if I said you need your metal detector but you don't need your metal detector you just need your shovel because it's a dig spot anywho um, I'm going to try to put you guys back in frame. If you need any help with anything, make sure you comment down below because I will try my best to help you help you guys out. Anything like that. Any anyway, the cycles for today, once again, today, Saturday, June 26th, once again, are Family Heirloom Cycle 3, All Lost Jury Cycle 3, Coin Cycle 1, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 1, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 1, All Tarot Card Cycle 1, Bird Egg Cycle 2, and Fossils Cycle 3. Once again, Family Heirloom Cycle 3, All Lost Jury Cycle 3, Coin Cycle 1, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 1, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 1, All Tarot Card Cycle 1, Bird Egg Cycle 2, and Fossils Cycle 3. Thank you guys for watching, looking, listening, <laughs> liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff because I do appreciate you and every bit that you do try to interact with the channel. And if you haven't, if you don't, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I put out because I put out videos each and every day. And make sure you look out for live streams or anything like that because you never know what could happen in these live streams. I could randomly give out a code. I could put it on the screen and then delete the live stream. <laughs> I was thinking about that like later. I could do that. That's like totally cool. But it's your main man, Hitman, once again for another day. And I'm out.